In this edition of President's Message, the Our Power team followed President Hill to Exelon's nuclear power plant in Joliet, Illinois. He was there to get an up-close view of IBEW professionalism at its finest. He toured the nuclear facility that is as demanding as any place can be on a professional craftsperson. It's a place where time is money. As you can imagine, it's also a place where attention to safety is paramount. And it's a place where the men and women of the IBEW are flat out getting the work done. Mr. Hill, let me tell you what spawned this, your visit out here. I mean, we invited you to come out. Uh, Dave, through Local 176, uh, has done a tremendous job for us. And we've become very dependent upon the skills of the Local 176 members, who we deal with primarily. And uh, it's been helpful to us to deliver a service to Exelon as our, as our owner and our, uh, our client. So we're very grateful for that and glad to have you here today. Well, we're happy to be here. Expanding from Pat from uh, Dresden and Braidwood, 10 sites now. We're in our fifth outage starting in three days here. Mm -hmm. Bar none, electricians come in and are one of the safest groups we have working out there for us. And I think uh, appreciate that. Well, we appreciate you saying so. I think we had one issue out of 5,000 terminations, and it was just a, a verification point. But everything else was done flawlessly. Great. So well, we're glad to hear that. Tre tremendous effort up there for that. And I think everybody understands that what we're doing and what we're trying to do in the IBEW <clears throat> is beneficial to everybody. It's not, it benefits our members uh, with more employment opportunities, it benefits the, the contractors, it benefits the customer. The customer gets what he wants to have. Yeah, it's, it's a win-win it's a situation all, over, all around. While President Hill spent some time in discussion with the customer, he came to Dresden to deliver a message to the workforce. He wanted to give credit where credit was due. What I wanted to do, just sit down and, and thank you guys for all the work you do. Uh, thank you for being part of the IBW. Thank you for the leadership that you provide out here in the field and, and, and quite honestly, for doing the right things. You know, sometimes you get, everybody says, yeah, when you, when you come around, you're always going to have somebody to complain about. You've got something to, to chew us out about or something like that. That's not what this is all about. I want to tell you that I'm proud of what you do here and I'm proud of all the people that work in, in, the, in, this, in this station. As he spoke, it became clear that he is not just the president of the IBEW, he is a brother. We're trying to get some things out of, amongst our membership that uh, make them understand it and make them know that they are appreciated. And the fact that you're here every day, you work every day, you do the right thing each and every day of your life uh, makes everything easy for us to, to sell the IBEW as the best in the country. You never hear the good stuff. I mean, no one ever tells you anything that's good. If you, know, if you don't hear anything, you always know it's okay because uh, if you excuse the expression, if no one has any complaints, you don't hear anything. You know, you don't hear, no one says, well, geez, thanks. And I just got a little tired of hearing that crap and I decided to come on here and say thanks to you. Quite frankly, it's the membership is the backbone of the IBEW. President Hill opened up the floor and led a wide range of discussion about various issues of both local and national interest. He also used the opportunity to talk about what he thinks are the best ways to serve the customer. We need to, to be flexible and we need to understand that some of this stuff is going to happen. They're going to do it with us or they're going to do it without us. And in my preference, and frankly, they're going to do it with us. It's necessary that we go take to our, our, our membership and take to the customer and say, look, this is what we can offer you. You can't get it anywhere else. You know, we realize that the non-union's out there. We realize that the non-union is out there working and doing work that we've been doing for years and years and years. But we are the best. And the companies know it. The customers know it. But we have to act like it. And we have to perform like it. It's easy to sell your, your craft because you are the best. Each one of you are professionals. So you need to act like a professional. And as President Hill went on to say, being a professional is something the membership has to want to be. 85% of our membership are good, honest to God, hard-working people, come to work every day, do a day's, day's work, go home, they're satisfied, you know, they get paid, uh, you know, they, there's no baloney, they don't, they don't want any baloney, they just want to come to work and do a, do a day's work. Um, we've got 15% that we have problem with, uh, uh, you know, they're coming late all the time, uh, they're sneaking out early, they're, they're taking long lunch breaks, they're, they abuse every everything that we have. They abuse it. We need to deal with that 15 percent. Quite honestly, I can't deal with them. You have to, because they're destroying your ability to make a living. 
it's up to you to say, hey, wait a second, guy. <clears throat> work is, the, you know, you're supposed to come work at a clock. You're supposed to take a half an hour for lunch. You're supposed to take a 10, 15 minute coffee, whatever the agreement says. And it's up to you to take care of that. It's up to you to make sure that you, your guy, the guy that works next to you is working just as hard and just as conscientious as you are. There is something the craftsmen and women at Dresden are beginning to realize. When everyone pulls their weight, the I.O. is there to help. I do appreciate the support that we get from the International. Uh, I, I appreciate what you've done and the people you've put in place there to support us because we need that as well as, you know, we need to keep feeding them information. Absolutely. Well, you're quite welcome. We're, we're glad to be able to do it. Ed Hill is as proud of the IBEW as anyone, and it showed here at Dresden. Responsibility and productivity are his messages, and he is happy to see they are getting through to the Brotherhood. For Our Power, I'm Matthew Walton.